Can you view my screen? Yes, sir. All right. So today's third, right? Zero three. Yeah, so what I want to do is to so you have any function. So given If right and so the point is so suppose the graph of F would look like something like this. Right. So now if you I mean one wants so what is the sense of approximation so we want to approximate the graph in certain sense i'll tell you what the sense is so now if you want to approximate by straight line that is the simplest object right it would be like something like this something like this right so this could be like this but then it is not an approximation here so the, the here you see the distance is is bigger much bigger or you take any straight line like this like this i mean which is which is usually to say it is close to that curve is is very difficult to tell so the sense is not this so this straight line is what, what is this form this looks like y equal to some mx plus in right so except the y-axis, any line can be seen as graph, right? So this graph of this function. All right. So the question what I was trying to is, so what is, and then what do you mean by approximation? Right? So it's approximation we want to work with, not a global approximation, but rather a local approximation. So we want to approximate the graph of F by by straight line, straight lines, straight line by straight line. So in a certain sense, So it is not arbitrarily, so in a certain sense, so you see here, it cannot be approximated, approximated on a whole of R or any big interval. So what do you mean by this one? 
So locally, we want to approximate, which means locally, in which locally, this locally means for every point, point A, in R or, or whatever in the, in the domain of definition or every point A there exists a neighborhood which is open interval so A minus epsilon to A plus epsilon where where we can approximate the graph of F. All right. By by a straight line. By a straight line. All right. So Now suppose, uh, so, so now actually uh, suppose such, such approximation is possible. Suppose such approximation is possible then what happens then the following happens then for every epsilon greater than zero there exist delta greater than zero such that mod of x minus a less than delta implies mod of fx minus fa less than epsilon so here i would change a little bit instead of epsilon put delta All right. Yeah, so f of minus, this is not f, this is a of x, where capital A of x is Lx plus n, right? Now we have to start with f to be continuous, otherwise it will, I mean approximation will be difficult. So we have to start with a continuous F. Otherwise, it's difficult because then, uh, I mean, you won't have a curve and a lot of other possibilities occur. And there will be a problem. 
So continuous on on a on a neighborhood of the point A. All right. Now continuity means limit extends to a fx is f of a right now which is equal to since you, you have this approximation limit extends to a ax which is nothing but la plus n m all right so the point is the point is if we have to approximate the graph of f by straight line we would a straight line around locally at a locally at a comma f a then the straight line line must pass through the point a comma f a all right so see here this one exactly says this this one f a equal to l a plus m a l a plus m is exactly saying that a comma f a lies in the straight line all right star says that all right so the notion of approximation is is a local notion here we will consider all right so then you have to so we have to consider this one uh, so we will consider the so let us look at look at the form of the straight line that could approximate thus that can approximate right approximate the graph sir yes 
So does this uh, linear approximation at a local point also imply that the function needs to be uniformly uniformly continuous at that region? So uniform is a property of uh, is a global property. It's not local. So any continuous function locally uniformly continuous. There's no problem there, right? Yes. Sir. So continuous function on a compact set is uniformly continuous. So that is in when you look at uniform, you are looking at globally. So here we are working with local thing. So locally around a point, everything is happening. So there is no uniformity here. So if you change the point, it might be different. We don't know what happened there. All right. So uniform continuity, uniform convergence, those are global property. But continuity, differentiability, those are local property. Integration is again a global property. Sir? Yes. Uh, sir, uh, can we approximate a function only by one straight line or uh, infinitely many possible straight lines? Well, that is what we are trying to see, what kind of lines we can approximate locally. Globally, I mean, you cannot approximate, right? It's going further. So, globally by single straight lines, you cannot approximate. Then, I mean, part by part, you then it will not have a straight line, right? It's a polygonal path. That is a different thing at all. But sir, uh, locally we can, uh, as as you have said that uh, the if we approximate a curve locally, then yeah. the uh, line should go th through this point. But uh, through a point, infinitely many the lines can go through. Right, so, exactly. Right, that is true. So, so what are those lines? So what are those lines? Those lines are of the form, the graph of. Ax, which is, let's say, f of a plus some alpha times x minus a, right? Alpha yeah. is in R, right? Yeah. These are all the lines passing through a comma f a. Yes. So y equal to this. What? So this y equal to this yeah, yeah, yeah. Li straight line yes. which passes through a comma f a yes sir these are actually all the straight lines right yes all right so now we we have so one of them should approximate and that is where you get the limit that is why we get the limit, this alpha. So what, what it mean is, so this, so these are infinite. These are infinitely many straight lines. One of them can approximate, approximate. How do I, how do we find that? Right? So that is the question. How do we find that? Now look at look at this one. You want to approximate x comma fx, right? We would like to approximate the 
this x comma fx by this one right this this points x comma fx x belongs to uh, let me call it uh, i in a broader way this is in a broader way in a broader way so i'm not putting delta right here so that means you want this fx looks like fa plus alpha times x minus a right right so again so look, let's look at now it is actually known picture to us from even from high school so this is the point a let's the another point this is the point ax and this is fx this is fa now if we, so this point what is this point this point is actually a comma fa a comma fa and this point is x comma fx now if you want to look at the line this one so what will it be what will it be so let's look at y minus f of a is equal to sum m times x minus a all right it looks like this one right y equal to f of a plus I mean times x plus a, isn't it? So here, here again, you want to approximate f x in this form. So this is this is now is is well known to us. Now this this then what do you want to do is you want to find so you we want to find alpha for which a x a x approximates f so which is nothing but you want to find this fx minus fa by x minus a and then you take limit as x tends to a right here if it is if this is equal to fx then alpha is just fx minus fa by ax minus a but the point is what alpha suits better so that's that's where this limit that's where the limit came from and this is actually you can think of rate of change or whatever thing is it is 
right and this is this is very well known to you from school all right but what is actually what it does is approximates and this is very general phenomenon this limit is is only one variable phenomenon but this limit is but the other thing is is very general this is true for multi variable also i mean the the always the derivative means the uh, approximate by linear affine function in this case approximation uh, by this affine function becomes lx plus n in general by linear algebra you know this affine function will become some matrix time x plus m another matrix right so did you understand the last comment so this phenomenon is very general this phenomenon here approximation by affine curve affine curve or or affine lines this is straight lines right so this is this is not linear the straight lines are not not linear straight line passing through origin is a linear subspace right right so if you look at r2 and look at linear subspaces those are the straight lines passing through uh, passing through origin if you look at dimension 1 right yes sir so in general in general so and this when you apply, add some constant it will become a, 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 this is called an affine subspace not a linear subspace so straight lines are affine subspace of r2 okay so in general so the, in general if you have function of multi variable function in let's say r2 or rn and you do what derivative means you want to approximate the graph of that function by some affine subspace right so you get a matrix so that's how that's why when you go to dimension 2 or higher you see the derivative becomes a matrix do you see the connection with linear algebra so this phenomenon until this one is actually true for multi variable as well the only here in this case because you are in real line you can divide by x minus a other other time you cannot divide right we are working in r but since you already you guys already know what derivative is so i should i thought that i should give a motivation for multi higher dimension as well that will be useful anyway so whatever science you do even life science as well so derivative will be useful so and derivative of multi variable function that also is in the similar approach in the similar phenomenon that you look at the graph and try to approximate that graph by not by straight line now an affine subspace so a linear subspace and and a translation of that a shift of that that's affine subspace so by that affine subspace now you consider you try to approximate and there you get a instead of a number alpha you get a matrix and that's how this derivative is related in any variable all right yeah, is this clear so this is a kind of a motivation to what is the derivative in general is this clear any question
Okay, so now I'm Sir Serge. Um, sir. Yes. Uh, can you explain the affine subspace thing? Okay, so this. Ah, uh, yeah. So. A straight line line in R two is an affine subspace. So that's what first thing I did, I, I said, right? So if you let me look at a picture. So this is let's say x axis, this is y axis. So subspaces are the lines passing through origin. All right. So these are subspaces. This these are subspaces. subspecies these are subspecies now if you look at this one this one or if you look at this one, or if you look at this one, this these guys don't pass through origin. But this looks like south space, right? So these are affine south spaces. These are affine subspaces. So, which means this this looks like this 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 is y equal to mx, and this one y equal to mx plus n up to a constant, up to a constant. So in general, so in general an affine subspace W of a vector space V is of the form W equal to a vector uh, let's say X naught plus W tilde where 
W tilde is a linear subspace, so which is actually a subspace. of the of V. Like this, right? So this in this case uh, where and X naught is a vector in V. So in this case it was a number. Right, so it was a number, in this case number, so here here also you see here how, what is what is this y equal to mx, so if this is w tilde this is w tilde not bar tilde this is w tilde and this is w then this w here is zero comma n plus w tilde is this clear so 0 comma n is the vector in r2 so this x naught will become here 0 comma n yes sir got it okay so you so the my point was that even in higher dimension you can make the concept of derivative in this way you can approximate the graph by suitable affine subspace and the affine subspace this fa would be a vector then and this alpha will become a matrix all right so remember this up to this one, this limit in the school you have seen this limit mostly, not the other things. But what is important, most important is where, it is, where does it come from? And that comes from an approximation. All right? All right, so an exercise. Uh, definition rather since we have given this limit so we, we a function f um actually we we define the closing define on closing table A V to R is said to be differentiable if a differentiable at x equal to c if we already are at the limit so we will take f of x minus f of c by x minus c 
limit x tends to c x equal to c c belongs to a b this limit exists so but what happens if c is in end point so we will consider one sided limit if c is and in front exercise if uh so one more thing in the definition before i put an exercise exercise is very simple i might have already guessed so here we say if is differentiable on a b if it is differentiable at every point of every all right there yeah, then point you consider one side at limit and then exercise a differentiable function is always to prove that continuous okay if f g differentiable is are differentiable then f plus g is also differentiable f plus g comma f g all right so this is prove prove that and now what about f by g right when it is differentiable or not that in it yeah any question so this is it for today if you have any question now let us uh, 
deal with that. The main point today is, today is this approximation part. The limit, where does that limit come from? Is actually from an approximation, nothing else. And which is very simple to think, right? You have a graph and you want to approximate by a straight line. How could you do? If you look at large interval, you cannot do. So you need to look at a smaller, smaller intervals. And then smaller, smaller interval, if you look at, then what kind of straight line should you like to take? Right? That straight line must pass through a region. Sorry, through the point. And then again, you would find, so what would be the best straight line to approximate there? And that's where you ultimately arrived to this limit. But this preamble is important. Yeah, any question? All right, then we'll see you next uh, on, on Friday. Yes.